Pivot charts are useful for analysing data. They have an enormous advantage over ordinary graphs in that even an unskilled user can easily change its configuration and analyse many different ranges of data using a single chart. Example 1. Datasheet, pivot chart 1, final result, pivot chart 2. A company prepares and distributes a catalogue of products once a month which customers can order goods from. The company analyses the results of its sales from two regions, north and south. Each catalogue has 50 pages and divides the goods into three different categories. To create a pivot chart, click on any cell within the data table and select Pivot Chart from the Insert tab. Do not change anything in the Create Pivot Chart window and then press OK. A new sheet containing the pivot table and pivot chart have been added to the file. Drag the region and the month to the filters, the page to the rows and the sales and the margin to the values. Then select South as the region and May as the month. Also, change the format of the data fields in the pivot table. The data needs to be analysed separately for each month and region, so it doesn't matter whether the margin is a sum or an average. If the data were to be analysed for more months or regions, a field with a margin value should be added to the source data, and a calculation field should be added to the pivot table. A similar example is described in my Advanced Pivot Tables lesson. The chart now only shows the sales because the margin bars are level with the x-axis. Double click on the bars and select secondary axis and then decrease the gap width. The margin has appeared in the form of red bars but the chart is unclear. Click on the bars and select the first type of line graph from the insert tab. A little formatting at this point will help to improve the look of the chart. The field buttons on the chart don't look good so to hide them Right click on any of them and select hide all field buttons on chart. We can change filters using those from the pivot table. After hiding the rows containing the pivot table, we get the finished pivot chart. Example 2. A continuation of example 1. The next step is to add the name of the category to the page number so that the users can see the categories and their results. To do this, return to the datasheet and add a column, page plus. Then in the column, we need to enter a function that combines the page number with the category. So that we are still able to sort by the page number, add the digit 0 to the pages with numbers below 10, then use the if function displayed. Now it's possible to copy the result of the function as values into column D. Copy them without the column heading. Then refresh the pivot chart. The category is visible below the page number. The functionality of charts like this can be extended, for example by adding buttons with macros which allow you to sort by sales volume or margin percentage. This lesson has been short because pivot charts are simple. Once you are proficient with pivot tables, you won't have any problems with pivot charts. A printable version of the exercises list is available to download so that you can tick the examples you have completed. Hopefully this will motivate you to complete the whole course and pass the exam available at the end of the Advanced Excel course.